Falls Art Reach and Hoven is Artistas. We're back again for another Art Reach challenge. This week, we are doing something called texture circles. Back in the day when I was a teacher, I used to teach this lesson to my kids in middle school and they loved it. It's a really neat way to explore the world around you and also learn a little school. And also learn a little school. Our texture circles this week are inspired by nature. We love doing art that's inspired by nature, especially as the weather is turning cool, the leaves are getting crunchy, and we're finding more and more cicada shells outside. So, this lesson is broken down into two parts. One is to create an actual texture circle. Actual texture means it's something that you can feel, like my hair, like your shirt, like my scarf. Implied texture is when in a picture you can see that texture. It seems like you'd be able to feel it. Like it might look soft, it might look spiky, rough, but really it's just implied by the way that the artist drew it. So step one is to create an actual texture circle with things that you find in nature. And then step two is to draw a texture circle inspired by what you found. In order to make your actual texture circles, collect some different objects in nature, flowers, leaves, bark, rocks. See what you can find. See what has different textures. Collect these and put in a circle. We put in a yogurt lid and then we put glue on top and let it dry. We found some mushrooms, feathers, rocks, sticks, flowers, dirt, and a cicada shell. Lots of interesting textures. Once you have your texture circle, now you're going to draw a version inspired by it. You need paper, a bowl, and some pencils. First step is to trace the bowl so you have a nice perfect circle. Then draw a few sections into your circle. This divides your circle into different areas that you will fill with different textures. Here you can see I began by adding implied texture, which means texture that is not something you can really feel, and I created leaves in the first space. Drawing the outline with pencil, I filled in the negative space around my leaves with dark graphite, and then I added some shade and tone to the rest of the leaves so that they stuck out and looked real. After that, I was inspired by that really creepy crawly cicada shell, and I decided to create some texture by making these lines and adding value again with my pencil and shading dark to light in each section. Continue to do this until your circle is filled with inspired textures from your actual texture circle. texture circles like always be sure to share it with us post it on Facebook hashtag art reach challenge hashtag texture circles hashtag people <laughs> don't forget to share your art with those around you we know that the more that we share the more art has the power to heal and inspire and power Stay healthy and stay creative. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.